Welcome to this Australian Earth Science Education video about wonderful water. We will be examining the specific heat of water and how this affects Earth's climate. For the experiment, you will need samples of Earth materials, water, soil, and sand, a desk lamp with a halogen globe that will heat up, three identical heat-proof containers, a digital scale, three digital thermometers, and bamboo skewers and rubber bands to help suspend the thermometers in your materials. We are using the desk lamp as a heat source, so be careful not to touch the light globe until it has cooled. Specific heat is a function of the mass of a substance, so we need to use the same mass of each material. I'm using 100 grams. Because soil is the least dense material, I have a far greater volume of soil than of sand or water. When all materials are weighed out, Suspend the tip of the thermometer in each material using the bamboo skewer and rubber bands to hold your thermometers steady. In order to perform a valid experiment, the surface of each material needs to be the same distance from the heat source. Each of these is 14 centimeters from the light globe. I tested each earth material by itself so that the angle of the light would not vary. Temperatures were recorded every two minutes for 10 minutes. You can see from the graph of my data that sand heated up much more quickly than water or soil. Sand represents Earth's rocky materials. We want to compare the specific heat capacity of these materials. Specific heat capacity is the amount of heat needed to raise the temperature of one gram of substance, one degree Celsius. If the thermal energy from my heat lamp and mass are the same, specific heat capacity is inversely proportional to temperature change. If you got lost in the mathematics of that, what it means in this experiment is that anything that heats up quickly has a low specific heat capacity. It heats quickly and cools down quickly. The graph shows that sand heated up the most, so it has a, the lowest specific heat capacity. Soil and water are similar. They have a higher specific heat capacity. Why does specific heat matter? Rock and sand have a low specific heat and warm up quickly, making the surface of desert areas uncomfortably hot in the daytime. The specific heat of water is very important because water is the most mobile of the earth materials we looked at. It flows down mountains on land and around the globe in oceans. As water flows, it carries heat around earth, controlling global climate. I hope you've enjoyed this Oz Earth Ed video. You can learn more about the properties of water in the Wonderful Water 1 video.